Okay guys, so I wanted to show you how to add an extra layer of protection to your computer um, and to your network if you choose to do it that way. Um, so here we go. We've got Norton and we've got OpenDNS. Um, I've used OpenDNS before, absolutely loved it. Um, with OpenDNS you can choose to protect only your uh, each individual computer or you can um, if you know how, if you're, you can go into the settings on your router, and you can set your router uh, to go through the settings for OpenDNS. It, they walk you through every step of this. It's very simple, and it adds an extra layer of protection to your network. So anyone that connects to your router, they're a little bit safer. It helps protect from infections. Helps protect from uh, malicious software. Helps protect from hijackers. Helps protect from hackers all sorts of stuff this will help you out a lot um, today I'm more so going to I'm going to put both the links of these in the description but today I want to focus more on the Norton Connect Safe as it's just a little bit easier to set up for a quicker video because I know a lot of you don't like watching longer videos okay so they actually have the settings here for XP, Vista and 7 if you're running Windows 8 or Windows 10 it's going to be the exact same um, steps is right here so what they're going to want you to do is you can either go through control panel or you can just right click on your internet icon and go to open network and sharing center and we're going to click on connections and we're going to click right down here on properties and we're going to go right here to Internet Protocol version 4 go to properties and you'll see you have two different sections here on the lower section you're going to go to use the following DNS server address and what you're going to do is you're going to choose which of these you want do you want just the A which is just an extra added layer of security against malware phishing sites and scam sites do you want some extra security plus uh, blocking uh, pornography websites or do you want the C option which is the security plus blocking pornography plus other and the other includes sites that feature mature content abortion alcohol crime drugs file sharing gambling hate suicide tobacco or violence now that may seem a little extreme to do that one uh, for the simple fact of even if you're looking up, um, if you you know if you're the type of person that does have problems and you're looking for help, um, it tends to even block the uh, suicide help um, websites to help you get through a hard time and support you through a hard time. So that's a little extreme. Um, but the B option is going to be your best bet, uh, especially if you have uh, kids in your house who use your, access your computer all the time. Um, so all you would do here, now you could type this in if you wanted to, but I'm lazy, so I'm just going to hit copy on that. And uh, you'd go back right here, and you can just paste these in, like so. And then I'm going to select that just to... For verification, close. Hit and close. Close. And now, I'm just going to show you that the settings are there. So I'm going to go back into it just to show you. And you can see there's our settings right there. Hit OK close close get out of all this and now you see I set it for that one so let's do just a general search here let's just type in click on just a random one first one that pops up and you see a site cannot be reached and go back and we can click on the next one in the list 
And this one's actually going to give us the Norton saying connect safe. This website is not allowed. There you go. Let's see if we can catch. And if you've never been here before, they have uh, different little test files that you can download to um, see if your antivirus catches them. They have uh, various um, tools on here that you can use. And as you can see, Norton is even blocking me from going to the site, even though the site itself is not. I guess it's not. They won't even let me click on that. I want to visit the site anyway. Okay, well, that's good. I like that. That means that if your kids or somebody is still trying to get into something that's still going to block it and not let them uh, get into it so that's good and like I said this site right here is not malicious it has um, test files in it that um, antiviruses pick up on that uh, just for testing purposes but that's a good sign that uh, even Norton is blocking access to it so that's, that's really nice I like that but that's an added layer of protection um, and I wanted to show you that it did work um, it's really simple to set up. You don't have to have any uh, knowledge about any of this to be able to do it. You just simply follow the instructions on this page. Or just watch this video a few times, and you'll you'll get it right. And you just select which uh, if you want A, B, or C, which level of security you want. Like I said, I, I wouldn't suggest going with C because I feel like that would actually block way too much. Um, but uh, the B would be just perfect, blocking malicious sites and blocking pornography and it's a free service from Norton you don't have to have a account with them or anything this is literally this is just a free service that they offer um, which is really nice again with open DNS it does the exact same thing as the Norton connect safe um, which one is better I can't attest to that I can't I can't uh, tell you that one because um, I have not done a test or seen a test that shows which one of those is the best um, but you could try it out yourself and see and if you do comment below and tell me which one you prefer or if there's another uh, DNS uh, um, option that you use that you feel that uh, is really nice I'd love to hear about it because hey more options that I can put out there for people to know about then the safer they'll be um, this work and like I said, Open DNS works the exact same way. It's free; you don't have to pay for this. Um, you can see, it's now part of Cisco. And Cisco is, for any of y'all that know, Cisco is a huge, huge uh, name drop in the tech world. So, I'm gonna end the video there. Um, I hope y'all uh, enjoyed this. Hope you learned something. Hope it was useful. Um, if you like this video, please click the like button. And thank you so, so very much for watching. You have no idea how much it means to me. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'll see you next time. When life gets you down, you know what you gotta do? I don't wanna know what you gotta do. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. What do we do? We swim, swim. Doreen, I'm singing. Ho, 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 I love to swim in. Doreen. When you want to swim, you want see, to See, I'm gonna get stuck now with that song. Now it's in my head. Sorry.